Welcome back, folks, to another original format review from me, Takisa. I am more than happy to show you all these shoes as they started out as a custom idea. And then as most of y'all who watch my show or my reviews know that when these suppliers take a look at it and they bring the thought to their factories, the factories are like, okay, are you sure it's going to make money? Are you sure? <laughs> and some of the suppliers are like, yeah, I guess it's an uh a way for them to bring in more shoes that people really don't think about or even think that could exist and voila now we get these fusion ha if you will um fragment air jordan 3 customs but let's not keep talking about dragon ball z or nothing like that let's just get into the shoe itself there's really not much for me to have to say about it honestly but we'll still look at it nonetheless all right, so let's take a look at the box. You can see right here, All right? Fragment bolt, count man, that's what's up. Nothing really on the box except this big Chinese sticker. Let me make sure that takes up most of the screen. There you go. <laughs> box made in China, of course. Nike and the swoosh and all that good stuff inside the box. We have the button fragment paper. You can see here. What else did it come with? Let's see, we got this right here. Let's take a look. I could take a quick look. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna tell you a quick story about this. Um, so, these shoes are for a friend of mine. Go ahead and put this paper back in the box for I'm gonna be sending these out in a few hours. I shoot this video, but um, I won't bore you all with the semantics. I'll just say that uh, this person has been uh, a friend of mine from the beginning of the, of the channel pretty much since I started my first channel in July 2020. And um, even after the first channel got snatched from me, uh, when YouTube said, nope, see y'all later, and uh, pretty much shut my stuff down. Um, and then I had to come back with a second channel. He's still been a supporter. And only reason I, you know, wanted to gift them these shoes is because I am a person who believes in paying it forward. I believe that if you're able to do something um, while someone might be going through hardships of their own, whether it's financial or physical hardships, just do it. Don't think about, oh, well, you know, what's in it for me or, yeah, I'm about to be blessed. No, nah, I don't think about that. Just, just do it from the kindness of your heart and the pure sanctity of your soul. Now, I'm not going to pre preach to y'all about being a Christian and all that, because some of y'all are not. And even if y'all are a Christian, some of you ain't really worried about doing the right thing. And it is what it is. But at the end of the day, I just try to do what I can. And that's that. So, without further ado, let us get into these shoes right quick. So, let's take a look. Now, what they did is spray paint the uh, air unit or the air bubble, which is fine. And um, I'm gonna put these down right quick so y'all can take a quick look at um, someone who's very talented in the game of shoe customs and just cleaning shoes. And we are talking about no other than Vic Almighty from Reshoevenator. Um, he got his, uh, influences for creating shoes similar to these um, from various uh, artists or custom audit artists but nonetheless I'm going to show you all a few clips of what he did uh, to these shoes here I'm chasing through these streets here come down there goes my umbrella skipping dark sun down fucking on my shoes what it doing nothing new let me cop a new pair of new gear too first on me's a ramen i'm warming up my bones meat so tender that i can only moan a seven on the platter yo i'm taking out my phone just a quick pick and i'm getting in my zone <sighs> suck it in hot drops burning on my skin feels good within 
My brain takes a spin. Call it dopamine. Yes, I'm out for the win. Charging up the better be. Yo, you better be up for some more adventure. Creating memories. You asking for my hand. Take a stand with clarity. So I'ma say yes. Says my name is Melody. Yes. Thinking to myself, what a trip. Jet black with sleep, I might skip. Look fly, boy, I'm so dipped. I'm on a roller coaster, get a grip. On the 20th floor, let me take a bath. Overlook a city lights, it's as good as it gets. So fuck a jet lag, y'all, who needs sleep? I'm caught up in the dream as my thoughts go deep. All I have is one week. Blink one eye, let me take a sneak peek. I'm feeling fatigued, wish I had some more. Took time in Shibuya, but hell no. I'm headed for the trains on the giddy on the go. Salute the Chico, yo, we about to do a show. Yeah. And as my thoughts go woke, I'm sipping on sake, let my words out slow. Talking never slurry, but we laughing though. We all about the flow up in Tokyo. Thinking to myself, what a drip. Jet lag with sleep, I might skip. Look fly, boy, I'm so dip. I'm on a roller coaster, get a grip. I'm on a roller coaster, what a trip. <laughs> Okay, so y'all saw that right quick. You see basically what he had to do. Drop the shoes and coffee, let it sit, and then go from there. So with the suppliers, right, as we can see the tumble leather, right, which is what's up. I'm going to take out the uh, shoe one right quick. And um, I'll turn on the light in a second so we can get close. I mean, I got a good enough light source now, but just so you can see the tag and stuff, I'll show you all that. But so what they did is they dumped it in coffee. Well, not they, but they call it Maddie, right? What the suppliers did is just kept the white upper for the most part around the shoe, on the tongue, as you can see. So nothing's aged except around the eye stay. They made a little like sail color here, eye stay here, then they changed the eye stay here. Now, something that you might notice around the edging of the leather is the colors kind of are reminiscent to um the uh whatchamacallit the uh unions you know what i'm saying like you see how it looks like this kind of reminds me of how like you see on screen those shoes right there the um black toe unions that's how these uh this cut kind of reminds me of this stained color of the leather and then we have the tab back here that is already nice and yellow Jordan with the fragment, that's what's up. You can see that you can tell they spray painted it because it's right here. They didn't really put any tape around the edging right here, but that's cool. I doubt my friend gives a damn, and to be truthful about it, um, I'm not either. That's right. Uh, a supplier was nice enough to say, Hey, um, do you want this at a discounted price? I was like, uh, Sure. They were very kind and just offered it to me. They were just like, Yeah, you know, my, uh, my, 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 boss likes you and likes what you do and seeing your videos and you know I'm not bragging at all folks I just you know when you're kind to people that kindness is given right back to you and I know I just went into the whole thing about blessings and making sure you don't do things to get another blessing that's the whole idea you know what I mean you don't think about it and then all of a sudden you're blessed it may be it may be immediate <laughs> It may be a couple of weeks from now, a couple of days, uh, years, whatever, but yeah, that's what happens. And I was very shocked because I honestly didn't buy these for my friend for any kind of blessing. I just wanted to do something nice. So, yep, my pair will be here probably by next month. Uh, or not in April, it'll be probably by uh, May. Because the way they sent my shoes is uh, USPS. And anybody who's gotten shoes from a supplier, the USPS <laughs> knows that it's going to come in when it wants to, basically. Or, you know, it might get snatched. So I may not even get a pair. Yeah, that would suck if it does. I'll just have to do my charge back, and then that'll be it. But I would prefer the shoe rather than get my money back, even though it was at a discounted rate. Let's go ahead and get this light on right quick. I don't know, y'all probably thinking, well, what about, you know, damn, a discount, what about the free? It's not always free, folks. It is not always free. Sometimes these suppliers, you know, you got to understand, nothing is free in this world. So these suppliers come out of pocket um, <laughs> to get, get to gift you or give us reviewers free shoes, quote unquote. But they're the ones that had to pay for it. Um, okay, so let's take a look here. See if we can get that. Oh, I'm going to pause. 
Let's just so y'all can see right here. All right, cool. So really nothing too here. Yeah, nice plush, uh, firm tongue, not too, not too soft. As you can see inside the uh, fragment with the jump man. I'm just taking a look around the shoe overall, but yeah, yeah, you know, they were just kind enough to hit me with the with the deal, and I was like, okay, cool. That's definitely a steal. I don't have no problem taking those off your hands at size 12, because you know what it is. Big feet, big, yeah, big feet gang on that. Can't even speak this evening. Uh, yeah, oh, that's right. Let's put this down right quick. Yes, they do come with the sail laces. So that's what's up there. But really not much to get into the shoe on. I mean, this is basically like the fragment, except it got the blue here with the fragment right here. And then you got your tooling code on the bottom here. All right, so the white upper, cream or sail eye stay. So as you can see, yeah, so I prefer this design versus the first one that came out, which is um, Fujiwara's, uh, Hiroshi Fujiwara's first design, the Fragment Samples, as you can see on the screen here. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. I prefer this size because it's a more sturdier size, much more meat to this silhouette size here. But yeah, so medial, oops, sorry, lateral. We have the back, nice back tab here and the front okay so that will do it oh let's make sure to put this inside good that will do it for these uh air jordan 3 fragment customs or these fusion of the first fragment uh sample and the actual released shoe uh which the fragment sample i think came out towards 2019 but it was never released and then the actual release we got it looks to me like a concord 3 uh, was towards the end of 2020 and then we got these right here which I honestly think they looked at again what we looked at earlier Vic Almighty and then took their idea and ran with it so folks this is Taikisa if you have any questions or concerns please make sure to hit me up on Instagram I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have any questions uh, I think I just said that twice by mistake my apologies also um, hit me up on TikTok if you like I know it's kind of slow moving but I'm gonna get to it I'm gonna get to it fam really am yeah. Um, there is no one fee for these because these are not mine. But when I do get my pair, hopefully by the end of April, towards the beginning of May, if USPS is kind enough to deliver them to me, then I will do the on-feet video at that time. All right, y'all take care. Bye.